What's up everybody? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome to another video on Field of View. Um, if you're not familiar with Field of View, um, I did a video about a week ago on it for a set of course on how to set it. It's basically your perspective um, sitting in the cockpit of a sim racing car. So uh, if you want to know more about Field of View, please go watch the other video. I'm not going to get into so much the why or the what it does uh, in this video. I just pretty much want to get to the raw data to help you set up correct Field of View in other games. So uh, depending on the sim you're running, uh, you're going to hear Field of View referred to and um, adjusted uh, through a various uh, through various metrics uh, there's three that we'll address in this video uh, the first one is vfov uh, vfov vfov is for vertical field of view and uh, it applies to a set of course r factor 2 automobilista and a whole slew of other sims it's the most common uh, adjustment of field of view and um, if you saw my last video and got your VFOV setting, uh, you're good to go to transfer that to our Factor 2 or Automobilista or any other game that uses uh, VFOV. Um, the second one is HFOV, Horizontal Field of View, and that is what Project Car Cars uses. So if that's your sim, then you want to look for the HFOV setting. Uh, and lastly, Race Room, um, in their quest to do things just a little bit different and uh, make you scratch your head from time to time, they have succeeded by using a field of view multiplier. So uh, their settings are VFOVX, and uh, basically it's a range of 0.5 times up to uh, the highest we go in this video is 1.1 times, uh, depending on your size of monitor and distance from that monitor. So uh, again, I'm going to get into the raw data, and I do apologize. I've um, I've had to make the tables quite small, so you're probably going to have to stop this video and um, really zoom in. Uh, I apologize. I didn't know how to better present it, but uh, the raw data is there. So um, what I've done once again is um, put the uh, uh, monitor size at the top, so you can skip ahead in the video, find your correct size monitor. Um, be it 22, 24, 27, whatever you have, and then uh, just look down in the page, see how far you're sitting from it, and uh, or approximately how far you're sitting from it, and then get your uh, VFOV, HFOV, or VFOVX setting from that table. But again, it is small, and I apologize. And uh, once again, same as last time, triple screens and singles will have the same uh, setting. Uh, so whether you're running triples or just a single monitor, you don't have to worry about uh, changing your FOV settings on that. And uh, lastly, uh, the best thing to do, if you want to know more, do some research for yourself. If you want to know about uh, perspective, field of view, and also if you want to get extremely precise, you can use one of the many online calculators and get it down to two decimal places if you care about that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, like I said off the top, we won't need to worry about uh, the why or the what FOV does. We just simply want to get into the uh, what are my settings for R Factor 2, Automobilista, Project Cars, or Race Room. So without further ado, so the first one is 19, and again, uh, very small um, type, so I'll give it a few seconds.
All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Um, I hope you're able to find an appropriate setting uh, based on your monitor and the distance from your eyes to the screen. And hopefully you're able to uh, set that up again. As I said in the first video, um, it does take some getting used to. Um, you get a, you know, the further back you sit in the in the cockpit, uh, the more sense of speed you get. Um, so most likely, if you're using a small monitor, you're going to have to change your field of view to smaller, and it's probably going to feel like you're going really slow and that corners are tighter. But um, stick with it. Uh, watch some of my recent videos if you want to see exactly what correct field of view can mean for lap times. I mean, I was shaving five seconds off a lot of my personal bests. It's, re it's really incredible. So uh, hopefully this has helped you guys. Um, if you're a fan of some of the other racing sims, good for you. They don't get a lot of love, but uh, get them set up correctly and uh, enjoy those games a bit more and uh, help spread the word. All right. Thank you so much for watching and we will uh, talk to you soon.